Most strokes are caused when a blood vessel in your brain suddenly breaks or is blocked. But on rare occasions, you can get a stroke in your spinal cord. In Health Watch, Shelly Bota shows us how one aerial woman is beating the odds and walking again after a spinal cord stroke. Spinal cord strokes make up less than 1% of all strokes. Rachel Mink was trying to change the battery in her smoke detector. Kind of just reached a little weird. When suddenly... A stabbing pain in my back, like some, somebody just stabbed me right in the middle of my back. Rachel thought she pulled a muscle, so she went to work. But by the time she got home... And my left leg started to go numb. So her husband brought her to the Aurora Manitowoc Clinic. When we got there, I couldn't stand. Rachel was then sent to Aurora Baycare Medical Center. My right leg was completely gone by then. And I was laying in the bed, and I, but to get comfortable, you know, when I'm like waiting for them to come in, I had to use my left leg to like shift my leg around, and my left leg was so weak. Neurologist Dr. James Napier knew what was wrong right away. Brown's Accord syndrome is a clinical syndrome in which uh, one leg is weak and the other leg is numb. Dr. Napier says Rachel had a bulging disc in her spine. She was reaching up at an odd angle and, and and I think that's what caused her disc to be punched out. Cutting off blood flow to the spinal cord, causing a spinal stroke. Dr. Napier drained the excess spinal fluid and increased her heart rate so blood could once again flow to her spinal cord. As she develops more collateral circulation and the swelling decreases, those cells will come to life again. But the stroke left Rachel paralyzed from the waist down. I mean, I couldn't do anything. There was nothing. Some studies, only 11% of patients in Rachel's situation are able to return back to a functional walking. Which is where intense therapy can make a difference. It's so important for a person to be able to work hard, particularly in that rehabilitation phase, right after the stroke, to gain as much recovery as you possibly can. After weeks of therapy in the hospital and then at home. I'm not even three months out and I'm, I'm walking. And her goal? I want to get back to work. I want to get back to a normal life. Dr. Napier says every second counts. If you think you or someone you know is having a stroke, get to an emergency room. Just a few hours can make the difference between recovery or learning to walk and talk all over again, or even worse, death. To learn more, you can call Aurora Bay Care or email healthwatch at auroraBayCare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelly Botot, Local 5 News. Thank you, Shelly.